welcome back to the Belt of Galloway Homestead. I've been uh, getting caught up on some chores here. It's been uh, cold and rainy, but I've got a, a, a few mowers that I use with my, uh, my ATV. And this is one of them here. It's a DR. It's a um, string trimmer. That uh, you can see the strings there you spin around. It's kind of like a weed whacker, but it's uh, one you pull behind your uh, your ATV, your four wheeler. I've had it for a while. Um, works pretty good, especially when you got a lot of poles on the pasture here uh, for the belties. I got electric fence, that white lightning fence. So this is actually able to go underneath the fence and trim where I can't mow, and then also it's spring loaded to uh, to get around the uh, the poles. Um, and I'll show you that once I get her going, but got it out of the shed here, sprayed, washed it a little bit, clean it up. And uh, one, one of the disappointing things is every time I pull it out of the shed to use it, I got to air up these tires, these little pneumatic tires. You can see it's came off the rim there. One back here, it's also come off the rim. And then every time I keep saying, I need to either put, I need to put inner tubes in those or I need to foam fill them or something, but but every time I, uh, I, I know I know pneumatic tires is good, but every time I've got to, I've got to air those up and get those beads sealed and all that. So I don't know why, but they uh, they leak and they uh, they fall down. And I got to check my skin, my, my strings, see if they're long enough. But let me get this thing fired up and uh, and then we'll get uh, we'll get working with it. Well, with a little persuasion, I was able to get the tires to air up. Um, one trick there is get something around that outer diameter of the tire and uh, a ratchet strap or uh, rope and twist it and get those uh, seats out to the rim and get the air in there. Uh, also, I noticed my strings are a little short here. Don't go all the way out to the guard, so I'm going to uh, throw some new strings in before I get this thing started up.
came down one side of this fence and you can see it does a pretty good job of trimming and getting underneath that electric wire. You got to go down through both sides to get it. And the uh, idea is just to get the grass down away from the electric wire so it doesn't uh, draw power away. So saves you a lot of walking with a hand string trimmer. And here you can see where it came through, lead the laid the weeds right down, goes around the pole, and uh, does a good job getting underneath that wire. I'd have to walk that whole distance, and it's not just pole to pole, it's actually sometimes even under the wire to get that. So it comes in handy, especially if you've got an electric fence.